In this video, we'll review the user settings menu. User settings can be accessed by pressing the top two buttons of the HMI simultaneously. Once in user settings, you'll see temp set points, active faults, fault history, and depending on configuration, scheduling, fan speed, and outdoor air setting. It is important to note that adjusting scheduling, fan speed, and outdoor air setting can alter unit activation, capacity, and performance. These should only be adjusted by a qualified technician with permission from tech support to prevent unintended operation. To change space temperature, select temp set points and space set points to display the current heating and cooling set points. Use the up or down buttons to highlight either set point and press enter to edit that value. Now that the current highlighted value is selected, you can use the up or down buttons to modify the set point. Once the desired changes have been made, you should press the enter again, which will then highlight the entire line, signifying the change has been stored. While increasing a heating set point, don't be alarmed if the cooling set point changes as well. The same is true for decreasing a cooling set point. Our unit will maintain a gap or dead band between the two climate control set points to keep the unit from cycling back and forth frequently between heating and cooling. It is advised that intake set points, discharge limits, and humidity control are not modified as this could affect unit activation cause unintended discharge temperatures, or result in poor space humidity. Any changes to these set points should be approved by tech support to ensure the unit meets the sequence of operation and ideal building conditions are maintained. Also in user settings are active faults and fault history. If any faults are present, they will be displayed in active faults. If you have a current active fault, please reach out to Captivair so we can help get it resolved promptly. Fault history will store a log of all past faults with a date and time stamp per fault. Don't be alarmed if there are faults present as our units are tested extensively in our manufacturing facilities and during the system design verification process. The fault history can be cleared in our service menu which will be covered in a later video. The units occupied and unoccupied operating set points can also be modified in the scheduling section in the user settings. Simply enter scheduling, then scheduling times to view the current start and end for a time of occupancy. Up to three shifts, A, B, or C, can be configured per day to apply varying set points as different heat loads or heat demand is necessary for a variance in application. Once you configure your desired schedule, it can be applied to the remaining days of occupancy using the copy schedule function. Here, you can copy a schedule from one day to the next or from one day to all weekdays or all days. As always, it's important to remember that your unit schedule was configured from the factory for your application. Any change to the schedule should be approved by tech support prior to being made. 